What's going on YouTube? This is Necro Stevo, and we're here with week 7 of the Indigo League of Legends. My opponent this week was Kanga. Uh, we had a fantastically close match. It seems like my matches just keep getting closer and closer in the league. And as you can see, he has several threats on his side of the field. Um, I ended up kind of just trying to counter team him. Neither of us ended up preparing very much for this battle. Um, I think we were both caught off guard by the... I had two bye weeks in a row. And so between work and the bye weeks, I wasn't actually prepared. So I ended up just looking at his team for probably a couple minutes before we battled. I think he did the same. But it turned out to be a pretty good match. Uh, the main things are uh, Pinsir being able to kind of sweep through his entire team after I get rid of Don Fan and to a lesser extent Stab Sableye. Also, nothing on his team really wants to take bandit attacks from a zoom roll either, outside of for maybe Sceptile, if it's Mega Sceptile, which it probably is. He could also have Mega Sableye, which I brought uh, Unwork Lefebvre for specifically, uh, just to kind of deal with that. Now here in the beginning, we both just start off with our Stealth Rockers. This is fine by me. Uh, Metal Swine basically wins this exchange because I have super effective moves versus him. And I have the chance to flinch him with Icicle Crash. I just wanted to go ahead and put up the rocks because his team looks like it's prone to switching around between Jirachi having U-Turn. Uh, and he surprises me here a lot with the red card on Donphan forcing me out into Pinsir, which I was horrified at. That's one of my win conditions. Uh, furthermore, he's able to get Earthquake damage off. And I'm going to go ahead and use this as an opportunity to Mega Evolve just because I might as well do it while I'm in here. Uh, and I didn't expect him to go for Ice Shard right there. I actually expected him to switch, which is why I went for Return. A lot of people like to save Don Fan for later on in the match just, for, just to have access to Rapid Spin and also uh, Ice Shard. But since he does take me down below... Uh, half HP, of course, that means I need to get rid of the Stealth Rocks before I bring Pinsir back in. And that'll be up to my Latias using Defog. Now, Clefable is my number one answer to Sableye. Sableye can taunt me, but even with that, I can just Moonblast it in the face and 2-hit KO it pretty easily. Uh, since I have Unaware, if he has Calm Mind, that's not going to work. And since he goes straight for Foul Play, I'm going to assume he is not Mega Sableye. And uh, he, in fact, ends up going out to Jirachi. I figured he might go out to Jirachi or Nidoking, but I wanted to go ahead and hit him with a Moonblast so that I could see some uh, items on either of these Pokemon. Since I didn't see an item on Jirachi, such as Leftovers there, I went ahead and Protect, assuming that it was Scarfed, I could see what it locks itself into, and I can switch accordingly. Since he does lock into, or what I assumed he locked into was Iron Head, we're going to get an opportunity to bring in Sephiroth here. And Sephiroth, of course, has Pursuit, so I'm hoping that I can scare him out with Pursuit, or with the Sucker Punch rather, and then I can pursue him on his way out, and that's exactly what happens, and I'm able to get rid of that threat really early in the game. Uh, Choice Scarf Jirachi is just really annoying to deal with, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now he makes a play here that I didn't quite understand, maybe he didn't think I had Sucker Punch, because I used Pursuit, maybe just Knock Off Pursuit, but I actually have Knock Off Pursuit and Sucker Punch, so I'm just able to surprise attack Starmie right in the face, and I don't have to deal with that threat either. Now, Sableye's ever-present threat of burning my physical attackers is still here. Clefable makes a pretty good Pokemon to absorb that burn, uh, but he does actually just end up taunting instead. I Either he must have just predicted my switch into Clefable, because it wouldn't have made sense to taunt uh, Bisharp, really, unless I had Substitute. I and mean, Substitute to block the... Substitute wouldn't block the will o -Wisp, though, because the will o -Wisp would have priority. Anyways, though... Once again, just going to, I figured Nidoking King was coming in, but I was hoping for the special attack drop. Uh, I do not get it. And now we have a guessing game as he could go for the poison type move to hit my Clefable, or I could predict that and switch into Bisharp. And so thinking that he might do that, I actually go out into Latios, or Latios rather, expecting the poison type move uh, or the ground type move, just trying to hit Bisharp or Clefable. And he actually goes for earth power, which is nice. I, ha I am afforded a free opportunity here to get rid of the stealth rocks. Yes, it does get rid of the ones that I set up on his side, but I can set mine back up if I need to. Uh, Latia surprises me by taking that critical hit Life Orb Sheer Force Boosted Ice Beam, and I'm able to take out the Nidoking. That's not a bad trade. Uh, I would have preferred to keep Latias around, and I did have a recover on my set, but I didn't really want to play the stalling shenanigans there. 
Now he actually goes out into Sceptile right here, and since he is out, I just tried to go for Sucker Punch because I figured he'd Mega Evolve and maybe go for Hidden Power Fire or Focus Blast. But he double switches right back out into Sableye, and that basically forces me out into Clefable to absorb a Will-O-Wisp or a Taunt if he wanted to predict that again. Uh, he does end up Will-O-Wisping, which I don't want necessarily. The residual damage is a little bit annoying, but I would rather have that on Clefable than anyone else on the team. So since Clefable is burned, that does stop it from having any other annoying status effects on it, like Toxic, for example. Uh, I only take a set amount of damage. And he's out here into Sableye. He goes from Sableye to Sceptile, and I get a special attack drop, but he actually goes not to Mega Evolve. He's going to Giga Drain a couple of times, but since I got the special attack drop on him, Giga Drain is not going to be doing uh, too much damage. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything that I want to switch into Giga Drain, particularly. I could switch in my Bisharp, but he could also Focus Blast or fire, Hidden Power Fire me. So we're just going to stay in here with Clefable, try to get some more special attack drops, and uh, basically force him to wait to Mega Evolve. At any point, I could have Thunder Wave, which really would have sealed up the deal on his uh, Sceptile, but I was afraid that he would randomly Mega Evolve and I would give him a special attack boost, which would negate the drop that I gave him in the first place. So instead of doing that, I just played it safe. He's at a very low amount of HP which is going to be an issue when he's trying to take Ice Shard from Mammal Swine, or even though he quad resisted a choice Bandit Aqua Jet, uh, could do enough damage from that range of HP to finish him off. But of course, the easiest way to finish him off is going to be a quick attack from Pinsir, and that will set me up to do a good amount of damage to anything that he brings into it as well. And I believe his last Pokemon is Sableye, and he does go for Will-O-Wisp, but Pinsir's attack stat plus Aerial Eight is just too much as even after being burned i'm able to two it ko him uh, he does surprise me with the citrus berry item on sableye a lot of times people just run leftovers but citrus berry actually works out here and i don't know if he has recover or not i'm assuming he has recover but it's hard to say uh, and now he shows me recover so citrus berry recover i guess that gives him some longevity over more powerful attacks like he could probably take a draco meteor citrus berry recover all that good stuff uh, but he's not going to be able to take a choice banded uh, play rough as he misses the Will Wisp in the end there. So that was a fun match. I think I ended it with a uh, two or three zero there. And now I have one more battle against Mac in this coming week. So we will see how that goes. I'm still undefeated in the league. So this team has certainly proved its power. But I hope you guys are having fun watching this league battle. And I will see you all later. Bye bye.